everybody doing out there? Jeff with Covet the Camper. On this video, I'm going to be re redecking the camper. So I've got all of the uh, old material, all the old OSB laid out, and I've got my new uh, CDX plywood um, kind of laid out a little bit so I can get my measurements, mark everything out, pre-cut my vent holes, and then uh, get it up there with some construction adhesive and coated screws get it secured to the uh, all the trusses on the roof. I'll show you what I've got going on. So I laid out the old OSB. Uh, there's the there's one more piece that's out that way that that uh, was part of the front cap but that's already up on the camper. So I've got everything laid out in sections uh, all the way to the back of course. I've already repaired all of the rotten wood that was on the trusses and the top cap portion of the sidewall. And uh, let's go ahead and get these things measured out, get it uh, laid out on the new plywood, get them cut. So I'm gonna be using, uh, of course, the uh, Loctite PL construction adhesive and the coated screws so the exterior these are uh, number six by one inch coated screws and they're the the star drive so put my star drive bit on there and get those driven in once the construction adhesive is down uh, I can go along about every 8 inches or so, 10 inches, and throw a screw in. So another thing I did was I marked out, came up here and marked out where all my truss locations are. So all of the, the length truss, the width truss, sorry, uh, I marked out with a Sharpie. So I know on each side of the sidewall where center is. Uh, all the way down and uh, I got some insulation pieces in replaced all this insulation and some up there of course the front cap all new front caps already put on and glued and screwed in place so now it's just a matter of getting our new decking on couple of other things that you want to watch for, uh, like the, the chase for the wiring, the solar wiring, and uh, all of the other <laughs> batch of wiring that goes down that hole and this hole. So I'm going to put on the roof, on the new roof, I'll put a, a junction box over this location. So I've marked out from the, from the back of the camper over uh, well, forward and then from the side of the camper over to these locations so I can get a junction box mounted up here, a weatherproof junction box. That way I've got access to all this stuff. So I've also got uh, a little chase right here next to the refrigerator vent. So this is where the, the uh, TV cable and this is for this, the uh, cell phone booster. So I might put another junction box above this hole in this location as well. Well, this is what I'm up against the next couple of days. Cloudy skies and chance of rain. That's a bummer. Hey, buddy.
All right, so this is just how I'm marking them out. This is the front portion or the rear portion of the refrigerator vent. And then I've just got a 14 by 14 vent marked out here. And I'm just uh, cutting them with the, the cordless skill saw and finishing up with the jigsaw. All right, there's the new deck. All installed. Got my holes pre-drilled for my it's the satellite or sorry the solar and then the cell phone booster cable ready to be pulled out so now I can get my 60 mil poly panels put on so I did some tests with uh, this gorilla spray adhesive uh, the 60 mil poly panel on plywood. We'll see if uh, what the strength is. All right, so I sprayed this about, I don't know, it's been almost an hour, I guess. So it should be plenty cured to uh, at least try to determine the strength. If I can get a putty knife in there. So I can get it started, get the putty knife started. So it comes off, this is still pretty tacky in here, you can see it. So I'll try the uh, Loctite heavy duty adhesive and see how that works. All right, so I've decided to take one extra step here and I grabbed some four inch seal tape, seam tape, and I'm gonna go over all the plywood seams before I put my 60 mil poly sheet on, so and then I'll overlap my poly sheets so the seams aren't in the same locations. And those will get taped as well before the crazy seal coating goes on. So it'll end up looking like that all the way down. And I'm overlapping about an inch and a half uh, because all of my seams have, I need to clean up all this old sealant, but all of my seams are gonna be wrapped. Um, my edges are gonna be wrapped with the four inch tape on both sides. All right, deck is done. All the seams are taped. And this is after I've cleaned up a little bit. Ugh. All right, so now it's time to get these trim pieces cleaned up a little bit and hammered back into shape on both of them. Put in some new butyl tape and get them screwed in place. So when you're beating this trim back into place, make sure that you use a, a rubber mallet and uh, get your, your new butyl tape on there and when you beat it into place, it'll it'll kind of stick and then run a screw in every like third hole. Tomorrow I will start cleaning up all these trim pieces for the sides. And uh, I should be able to get, <clears throat> should be able to get all of the poly put on the roof. tomorrow. I gotta get all that sealant scraped off. 
all that cleaned up. I need to repair this plastic rear cap with the tail light housing or the clearance light housing because it's broken. So I might be able to plast plastic weld that crack. It's pretty bad, but I think I can probably plastic weld that. And after that, um, yeah, starting the crazy seal, the final few coats of roof sealant. That's going to give it its 50 year warranty. That'll be nice. So that's it for this video today. We'll catch you on the next one. Later.